There's just so many different kind of cloth diaper inserts. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you there's how many type of cloth diaper inserts and how you can use them. You can make some of them at your home or you can use different kind of fabrics for your insert. You don't only have to use this kind. There's just so many different kind of inserts and we're gonna be talking all about it in this video. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. Hi guys, I'm Devushmita from Two Busy Bums and in this channel we talk about everything that you need to know about cloth diapering. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. If you like the videos, like them, share it with your friends and family and comment on it. Also follow us on our social media. If you're new to the cloth diapering world, you must be hearing a lot about the cloth diapering inserts and liners and lots of other things. So the first thing I want to tell you what an insert look like. So this is an insert. They are the one which are called as insert. Now, if you wonder what is a liner, the liners are basically this ones. They are stay dry and this is the one you put on top of your diaper so that the baby feels dry because your cotton inserts will still make your baby feel wet. So you just put a liner on it. So these are the liner and liner and insert is separate. Coming to the insert, basically whatever you are putting inside a cloth diaper is a insert. So these are the one which are marketed as an insert and they are already stitched together multiple layers of fabric. So they are very easy to use but they are sometimes harder to wash and sometimes you cannot adjust the absorbency for an insert but if you are using a pre-fold or a flat they can be really customizable. So here I have a pre-fold which can be used as a cloth diaper insert. So this is the one which has four layers on this side and four layers on this side and the middle it has eight layers and when the baby is little you can use this to wrap around your baby so you just use it like this and they are really good as a newborn cloth diaper but when they grow up you can use just a pre-fold for stuffing your pockets or laying it in a cover and this can work as a great insert. Here I have just a plain flower sack towel and they are flat so this is the flower sack towel but you can use it as a insert and the flat works great as an insert. You can just fold it however you want to just pack fold it and put it in a diaper and there you have an insert. The best thing with using a flat as an insert, they are very very customizable. Let's say my baby tends to wet mostly the front of the diaper so I will put more layers in the front and then I will just pad fold it. So if I am pad folding it and with the most layers in the front, if I am using this, now this flat can absorb a lot more than an insert which only have four layer throughout the insert but this one if you can understand I will say this have like six layers in the back but it has a lot of layer in the front so at least like 24 layers in the front but that's why the flats are very very customizable as a insert now I'll just show you really quick how you can use the flat or pre-fold as an insert so you just lay it around inside your cover and there you have a pad folded insert instead of using a insert like this which are marketed mostly and now you can also stuff a flat inside your pocket diaper and then there you have your flat as an insert with your pocket or any other diapers so like here I just use the flat as an insert. Now the best thing about using the flat as an insert, it's very easy to wash. Now there's five main kinds of inserts. The inserts can be made from microfiber, charcoal bamboo, bamboo cotton, cotton or hemp. The most absorbent one gonna be the hemp and the least absorbent one are gonna be the microfiber. The charcoal bamboo, that one is basically inside it has the microfiber outside have the stay dry material. So they are the microfiber as well. It just doesn't look like. Just to be careful with the microfiber inserts, it cannot go against your baby's bottom. It can be stuffed only in a 
pocket or you can wrap it inside a cotton flat and put it in your diaper. Now I'll show you what all different kind of inserts can, you can use. So the first one, like the one that are marketed as, the second one you can use is going to be the pre-fold. As I already said, you just tri-fold it and use it as an insert. The third one is going to be a flat. You just fold it as a pet fold and use it in your pocket or covers. The next one I will say you can make a homemade pre-fold or a flat. So this is the one made from a sari and it's a big flat and I just have folded into a pet fold and I can use it inside a pocket or a flat. And also you can use a towel. So this is just a cotton hand towel and you can just fold it as a pet fold and use it inside your cover or a pocket diaper and they work really great. Also, if you have a swaddling blanket around your house, just go ahead and pet fold it and you can use it inside a pocket diaper. And also, a lot of people get the receiving blanket. The receiving blankets are basically cotton fennel and they work great as an insert. Another thing that you can use as an insert is gonna be a cleaning cloth. So this is just a microfiber cleaning cloth. All you can do is just fold it as a pet fold and use it on the inside your pocket. Make sure you are not using the microfiber against your baby's bottom because they can absorb a lot and it's gonna take a lot of more moisture from your baby's bottom and give them rash. So if you're using this, make sure you're putting it inside a pocket or wrapping it in something that's a cotton. Let's say I want to use this pre-fold and this together. So just put it inside your flat or pre-fold and fold it in this way so that there is no way it's going to touch your baby's bottom and now you can put it in a cover. The last thing I would like to talk about is what is the booster. So the boosters looks just like an insert. If you can see it, they just look like the same, but this is a smaller one. This is actually a newborn insert which can be used as a booster. So basically the boosters are to boost the absorbency of your primary insert. So if I'm using an insert and the baby is already peeing it out, you can use a smaller insert or a booster to boost the absorbency. But the best thing with the flats, you don't have to use the booster in a lot of time. You can just fold it in such a way where you can put more layers where the baby pees the most. For a boy, let's say you can put the most of the, the layers in the front part. For a girl, you can just use this most part in the back so the pee are getting absorbed by the back side. So in this video, I just told you guys what is the insert, what is the liner and how they are different and I showed that to you as well. And also I told you what are the kind of insert and how many things you can exactly use as an insert. So they are readily available in your house or they are very cheap to make or buy. Make sure you are watching our how you can make a DIY flat in your house just by buying some fabric. If this video was helpful for you guys, make sure you're hitting the like button, sharing it with your friends and family, also commenting on it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribing to the channel to get a lot of cloth diapering related videos update on your page. Till our next video, love your babies.